Father Helmut Schuler is on a 15-city tour across the U.S. called the Catholic Tipping Point. His goal to transform the church to allow divorced couples to receive sacraments and accept women and married men into the priesthood. Father Schuler, welcome. Thank you. Now, while, while touring Brazil this week, before we get started on this, Pope Francis said, quote, who am I to judge gay people and added that gays shouldn't be marginalized. What is your reaction to the, his statement? I think it's an interesting opener, but we have to get more. That means uh, not only mercy and respect, but also inclusion and also appreciating what these people are trying to build up with their, their relationships and their partnerships on the base of, of our Christian thinking and, and, and teaching. And so I think inclusion will be the target. Okay. Um, you're touring the U.S. now for a different reason as part of the uh, Austrian Priest Initiative called the Catholic Tipping Point, as we had said. Um, what do you hope to accomplish during this tour? Yes, uh, connections, international connections. We are now at an international level. We started in Austria with the Priest Initiative. And now we are, we are contacted from priests all over the world to do something together, connections with the church mo uh, reform movement in this country. And yes, the exchanging of experiences, of ideas, how could we, how do we, how could we get this change uh, from the base of the church? Well, I understand that uh, you know, your, your key target points are to get women to be able to be ordained as priests, is that mm -hmm. correct? And also for uh, married men, um, why? Why do you want to include them? I think there are a lot of gifted people in this church, men and women. And it's not, it's, it's not good to exclude them principally because they are gifts for the church. On the other hand, we have a shortage uh, of, of leaders for our communities, uh, com parish communities in Austria, in Europe, but also in the United States are going to become clustered and merged. And we are losing touch with the people. Our, our pastoral work is without, more and more without any contact. And we need these gifted people for this ministry. It's, it's really important, and therefore we are asking for this opening. And it may be a little bit of an opening because some religious scholars say there's not a lot of theological support to exclude women from the priesthood. Um, how would you respond to that? Is there, is there some wiggle room here? I think they are right because I think uh, the, the, center question, the central question is that we have in our in our uh, message in the Bible, which we want to announce that man and woman are together image of God in this world. That means that fact has to be re represented in the ministerial structures of this church. Therefore, I think it's a principal opening uh, necessary and out of, the, out of the base of, of theology, I think there is no problem with it. Also out of the base of, uh, of the question of tradition, because we, are, we now are knowing much more about the origins of our church where when women were really involved in leading ministry and tradition is a very weak weak argument because if the church uh, really only wants to do what Jesus has, de has, has, has done and not to do what, what he has not done church will change re radically. Let's move this forward. You're not the average reformer. You've served in very public and powerful roles including under the Austrian uh, Cardinal. Um, has this helped you gain support for this sort of movement you're working on with your parishioners? I'm sure the Austrians are knowing me, my work in, for Caritas before, then as Vicar General, and so I think that's, that's a very gross, great advantage. But also the standing together in Austria, these 430 priests who will not uh, li leave alone one another, I think that's a very important How about thing. here in the U.S.? How's your message been received uh, so far? surprisingly open and it needs only some seconds at the beginning of the conversation and we are at the same point because the questions are present in all countries of this of, uh, of this except church. Except in Boston I understand. <laughs> what happened yes, in Boston? That was that was the, the point of view of, 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 of the Cardinal O'Malley but I think uh, also in Boston a lot of, of, of people at this church are agreeing with us. I, I do you consider any of this doctrine, the, it, any of the things you're trying to make changes in, infallible doctrines? With the church? Uh, I don't think so. Also the, the question with the women in priesthood, right. because there, sh there should be a special quality for these decisions, the bishops to get involved before, and they didn't. Okay. So we have very fragile okay. ground for it. Well, I want to let people know they can uh, learn a lot more about this on our website, kpbs.org. Uh, Father uh, Schuler, thanks very much again for talking Thank with us. Thank you for being invited.